here or there on Bitcoin. Yeah. Um, yeah. What did you think when you read like Satoshi's white paper for the first time? You're like, oh, that's pretty interesting. Or... That was pretty clever. It, it, it's it's just like the th things. Yeah. <laughs> this, this always gets like the crypto people angry, but <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, the, uh, there are, there are, there are transactions that are um, not within the bounds of the law, um, and those, and there are obviously many laws in different countries, um, and normally cash is used for these transactions. Um, but, cat, but in order for illegal transactions to occur, those the cash must also be used for legal transactions. You need an, uh, an illegal to legal bridge. Um, that's where crypto comes in. So is it kind of the dark net stuff? It, it, it can't be entirely yeah. dark because otherwise, how do you buy normal stuff? True. It, and, and cash these days is used just much rarer. Mm. It's, it's hard. It's like increasingly difficult to use cash. Some places you can't use cash at all. Mm. True. So th th there's, a, there's a forcing function for uh, transactions that are Ill illegal, quasi legal, and in some cases legal. But it's, they've got to have some. It's got to be both legal and illegal. It Do doesn't count otherwise. Otherwise, you simply it, it, it can't just be transactions within uh, an illegal economy. Because how do you buy like? You know, food in a house or something. You, know, something. you must have a legal to legal bridge. Um, so, where I see crypto as effectively as a replacement for cash, but not as a replacement for as a primary. Uh, not not as I do not see crypto being the primary database. So, now this is this is sometimes taken being like. I'm being judgmental about crypto, and it's actually, I think there's a lot of things that are illegal that shouldn't be illegal, um, um, but, you know, so, it's not as though, I think that sometimes governments just have too many laws about that, they shouldn't have so many things that are illegal.